This is the ECU TX5258 video transmitter. And there is one button, which is here, which is used to set the band, the channel, and the output power. So this is how you set it. You'll notice that it's going through a sequence of A, one, and then one flashing. A, one, one flashing. And A represents the band, the first one that you see represents the channel and the second one that you see is the output power. So to set the band, you hold the button down and you'll see A, in this case, start to flash. If I now press and release the button, you'll see that it's going through the available bands and then back to A. So A, B, E, F, R, and then back to A. Whichever band I leave it set on for a second or two, once the sequence restarts, is the band that it's on. So you'll notice it's on B, still on channel one, power output one. So if we now want to set the channel, if I press the button and we get to B and it's flashing and I press and hold the button again, it now gets to one. I can now press the button and release and it will take me through each of the available channels, one through to eight, and then we start on one again. Whichever number I leave it on is the channel that um, is going to then form part of the sequence. So we have B, two, and one flashing. So it's band B, channel two, and power output one. If I now want to change the output power, I press and hold the button and it starts off with B flashing, then it does a quick flash on one. Press and release the button now, and it will go through each of the four output uh, values. Whichever one I leave it on, and I'll leave it for a couple of seconds, it will then form part of the sequence. So we have band B, channel two, power output three. That is how you then change the settings.